Hello, 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 my friends. Just waiting for this to kick in. And hopefully today we have good internet. Just waiting for people to come on. We're going to be doing some decoupage. I don't think I've ever, ever done decoupage before on a live. Um, and I'm going to be experimenting. So this could be a little bit like speed dating because I have got so many pieces of furniture out, it's not funny. So when I put my head to something and um, play, I really play. So I have set up a whole heap of furniture here. So we'll see how we go. Could be like speed dating, but um, um, it'll be fun regardless. So I'm putting myself out there because I'm, I'm going to test a few things that haven't been um, tested before. So that's the way I roll. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Nancy. Um, so I've been busting to try these papers and for the first time ever, and I'm talking ever, I've actually put in um, a stock in my shop or in my business that I haven't tested before. So this is the first time I've put something up. I usually test everything and test it thoroughly before, before I put it in. But that is just because um, I absolutely have 100% faith in Michelle and um, what she's doing and um, what she's using. I've seen, I've seen her work. Um, I have absolute 100% faith in the product already. So great expectations, Michelle, bring it on. <laughs> So I've, I've been preparing furniture this morning for it um, and doing a few different techniques. So um, I'll be going for the really, really textured look and a smooth look. That's the one that's got me a little bit scared, but I'll show you what I've prepared first. Um, as you pop on, say hello. Let me know if you're watching this live or replay and, um, and from where, that'd be great and any questions just far away but I'm learning along with you right now so um, my this is flashing up try another way of going live during your broadcast um, let's see what that's doing I don't know oh mystery mask I'm not wearing a mystery mask okay so let me see so this is what i'll show you what i've done and i'm playing cameraman too or camera woman so i'll be switching back and forth between um setup gear so that you can see properly so this is a piece that i've prepared an old piece and it's very very rustic already it's been knocked around um i've done a, a bit of repair jobs in it uh, but i've even given it to my teenage son for about 12 months so it's extra extra rustic as you know so i was looking at this and going this would be a really good one for one of the beautiful um period type um papers so i'll just step back see she's got nice sexy legs and it's very rustic and i've actually added some more um texture to it so two of the pieces this one and another one i've added texture i'll give you a close-up look so you can have a look at it and um, i'm going to go on top of texture so that's one of the ones. This has been prepped in, um, I've used the Artisan Quick Prep on this because this is a bleeder. Like this is, this would be playing up big time for me. So I've used that um, and added texture. And the texture that I've used is um, um, the Montmartre um, modeling paste that I use in my artwork. So that's that. Uh, I'm just going to flip you around because this is not going to work this way. I just want to say hello to everyone. So, oh my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Tanya and Sue. Um, I'm just going to flip you. Okay, we're going to do some vintage pieces, which I never, ever do vintage pieces. So, um, this is a, a new thing for me, but I'm going to also rust them. Um, so I'll show you the design we're going to put on this. I'm going to, I've, I've got some rust ready to go on the top of that. I'm going to put a rust design on that and we're putting the decoupage paper on that. So I will go and get it because we've got it all sitting over here, ready to go. Um, 
So this is this is the one I want to use on top of that table. And then I've got the big the big version of that. Oh, let me get it out. The really big, big version. See that one? To go on a, um, a matching coffee table, which I've got there. So we're going to do the iron-on method for that. I've already prepped them ready. So I've used two coats of Artisan Gloss Sealer. Now, the reason I went for the sealer is to see if it will reactivate because some things reactivate when you seal on top and I'm hoping it won't. So I'm going to test it on that. So this is the paper we're using on this little table and it's going to fall short slightly. So I'm going to do something with that edge that I may not do on this live. We'll see how we go for time. But it's perfect size for that. See that? To there. We've just got a little bit on the edge that I'll have to paint out. Um, so that's going to go on the top of that and we're going to do some nice rust. Now the other one, don't get dizzy. <clears throat> this one I've prepared. This is a little, little nested, whoops, sorry. Little nested set. Um, not a nested set, sorry. It's a little table that usually has glass in the center of it um, but I've added some extra texture and then sealed it with the quick prep so if you look um, it's really textured and it's very very hard it's ready to go so we can go in go in with it now but that's nice and um, textured so I'm going to be playing with that one as well now, what we're going to put on that one is this pretty thing. Let me get this one. Is the swan. Look, I love that swan. That was, um, I think that's my, I don't know. I've got lots of favourites now. But when I first saw that, I thought, oh, the swan, the swan. And I want to do the swan. I've got a beautiful, huge, beautiful um, French desk out there that I'm... I want to do swans on as well and my coffee table at home so but yeah we're going to go for the swan on that one um and so that's oh and this one what do you think i was really torn with this because i saw i went i thought oh gee that would be really nice and i'd like to do paint that out with pinks and grays but i'm kind of leaning towards this this is what i want i think I just love that painting. So I think that's going on there. What do you think, guys? That one? That's really cute. Look at that. So Michelle's saying I've been no problem painting it out. No, I, I it's and I'm thinking with the um the car one of bringing the rust up onto the top of that table. Okay, so that's so that's what I've done. So I've painted those, I've prepped by sanding those. They definitely needed to be sanded because um, it's always good to give it a bit of a scratch because you'll be surprised how many pieces um, have very unstable varnish or shellac or that sitting on them and it's not that obvious until you start sanding and then it all flakes off and that was the case with those came off really quickly so I gave them a sand and um, painted the the artisan the black in the artisan which is new and then the top of prepared in rust um, I'll start a decoupage then we'll move to the rust and then I'll come back to the decoupage all right so let's go for the swan first all right and we'll get you in a position where you can see. So excuse me, like I said, I'm the cameraman as well today. Oh, every day really. I'm a girl that flies solo. All right, I'll move this up. Can you now flick it around? <clears throat> see pretty good guys 
Uh, I'm assuming you can hear me too. So I'm not using glue for the reason I said before. I'm going to test sealer. Um, I know that the Artisan Matte Sealer is good for this kind of thing, for decoupage. But I'm going to use, use the gloss um, really for the simple reason I don't use a lot of gloss. and So I'm just going to use some on it. All right, so... Okay, now I've got my little scrunchie already pre-prepared. This is the one I cooked earlier. So this is just Glad Wrap. Well, actually, it's a plastic bag with Glad Wrap covering it. So I've got that ready. Best to be prepared. And all right. This is where you all take a deep breath for me and see how, how we go. Alright, I've decided where I'm going to put it. There's going to be just a little bit of overhang, but it's okay. Put that on there. Line it up. Make sure I've got enough on it. Just give it a bit more. I hope this does stick well. Otherwise, we'll get, be going to the glue. So I know this works for the iron. Oh, yeah, it's working. It's a working. It's molding itself to all those, all that texture. It's, it's literally molding itself around every bit of my texture and doing a little bit of a wrinkly thing itself. Not big wrinkles, just little wrinkles. Lift her up, pull it back. So the paper kind of grabs a bit and, the, and then it then the glue absorbs in a bit and then it grabs some more. I wasn't sure how to go on such bumpy texture, but it's doing all right. Okay. Okay, I can see somebody. Oh, Michelle's us. Michelle, I created all that texture by using a texture paste. Um, I used a like a plastic spatula, and then I like I scraped it on, and then while it was wet, I pushed the spatula down and lifted off, so it caused little. Um, what would you call it? 
just like a little bumpy bit. So it, it almost looks like it's got sand in it or something, but it doesn't. It's just the texture I've created by the way I put it on. So it's quite rough, almost like concrete. Um, actually, it reminds me, it reminds me of um, like a rough hand painted pottery piece or, you know, those beautiful French um, farmhouse pots. Oh, it's really nice. Oh gosh, I think I'm gonna be, I'll have to buy some more because even more because I can see me putting it on everything. I'm just pushing it in with my finger now. The paper's not not having any issue with that. I'm pushing it quite so that I get the real rough rough bits. Now where it's really sharp is even kind of coming right as I'm rubbing it. I'm getting little white dots and kind of texture. It's texturing it like I'm putting a bit of a wash on it. Gosh, I love this. I can't wait to show you up close. I'm just making sure it's really stuck to all the bits of texture. I've got a little bit of a bubble there. I'll just get a knife just to let a bit of air out. Just got a little bubble there. I'll just prick it. That's it. They probably flattened down but I just want to make sure extra sure. So this bit's a little bit fiddly, but it's actually quite fun. Oh my goodness, that's so lovely. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it's so nice. I think I'll do the same thing. I'm putting this one on my beautiful, I've got a beautiful um, claw foot round coffee table at home and I want the big swan on it I think I'll do this texture I think I need that in my house there we go I mean I could keep filling but it's pretty much done it <laughs> yeah it's just done it's just done its own thing it's like Oh, I pressed a bit hard there. Rubbed a bit hard. It looks like it's been painted on. Okay, I'll lift it up so you can see. See that? You can see in the wing. See all the sharp, the sharp texture all come through. It does, it makes this look like an authentic painting actually, when you look at it, because you've got all the brush strokes of the design and then, then the texture and it looks like it's been hand painted on. It doesn't look like a print anymore. It's lovely. Well, that was a success, I think, don't you think? One down. Let me see if there's any comments because I've just I've got it in the stand. It's a bit tricky to see your comments. Sue's saying she loves the texture. Yes, yeah, Sue, oh, I love the texture. <laughs> I'm a texture girl. I just love it. <laughs> All right. And to think I was scared, but I haven't done the iron on method yet, so we've got to we got to go down that road. All right. That's so yummy. All right, that's the swan. Let's put that one out of the way. Let's go grab the K 
cupboard. I'll put the cupboard, bear with me until I put it underneath the camera. Oh, I have to show, I have to show you this. Check this out. I was inside it, I was given an extra little clean and there's something I didn't notice. Like this is really old and inside that those sticks are because I've re-glued the, the um, panels and I'm pushing the panel against the outside of the sticks so it'll be dry now. But up inside, I don't know if you can see it, inside there, up in the top, I thought, what's that? <laughs> it's a little piece of paper. I thought, oh, what's that? <laughs> Is it like a secret love note or something? And I've got it out. It's old. It's, it's, you know, bugs had a bit of a chew at it. And it's, I thought, who's hidden this in here? So I'm trying to read it. And it says on here, it says, have you any kids? No, you don't do that. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> right. And then there's this list. I don't know if you can read it. I'm having trouble listing, uh, reading it. But I'm, it's there's this list of money, and then it's got dear some because some it's chewed out, something's had a go at it. Dear, so somebody, please, could you forward the following? And it looks like archival find enclosed the amount of so many pounds, right? But this was like tucked up inside the top, and I don't know if it was. The, I don't know why it was up tucked up the top, but it was like this little secret note. So I, I looked for inside to see if there was any money in it, but no, nah. <laughs> couldn't find anything. <laughs> so <laughs> the things you find, I've found all sorts of things in furniture. Okay, so let's go with this one now. Same deal, I've put texture on it, but it's only very smooth. So um i'll lift it up so you can see how can you it's only slightly see that it's only slight texture so like stucco or um all right but we'll let this wrinkle too because i think i think i've that's grown on me rather quickly and rapidly where's our design where did i put it guys i had it Oh, there we go. So we're going with the boys and girls. Now I've got more paper than I need for it. Um, and so I want to keep the stick. Make sure the child's in there. So I've kind of put it about there, I think. And I'm going to let the paper go up and then I'm going to, when it's dry, I'm going to sand it off flush, like sand it off to here, but let it go over there. All right, away she goes again. Feeling a little bit more confident now. I might let that go down over that a bit. Let's see if I can mould it. Being very brave now. Just mould it a bit. Oh yes, there you go. Not yet. Using a hang on. is drying like like it tacks up pretty quick so you probably maybe had less play time with it but maybe less wrinkles who knows I will come back to all your comments I just yeah as you can see I'm a little bit busy <coughs>
pulling it a bit. Settle in camera, yes, yeah. Now just make sure that's got a bit of a that's right in there. I don't want it to be not to tear. Take advantage of that. It's definitely easier with the plastic than it is your fingers. Now you could just not use this bit of the paper and just cut it off. But um, I want to use it. It cuts really easy the sharp blade while it's dry. So the bit that's going over the handle, that's the bit I was cutting so that I'll be able to, when that dries, cut around that bit. That is so sweet. Look at that. That'll be fun painting out one of my favourite colours. Right, let's leave it. Lift this up a bit. the dust and then I'll paint all that out and that will be fun and there's very minimal ripples in this just a slight bit of texture and when it dries I'm assuming some of that will tighten so we've gone from really textured do a slight texture. I'll lift it up so you can see. Do my exercise. So there's a slight texture in it. And it's gone up and over the edge. I'll need to push down up the top there because that needs a little bit more of a tickle. Possibly I could have put more glue, uh, more um, sealer on that, but gee, it's stuck really hard though. It's stuck down really nicely. It's it's definitely not going anywhere. Nice number two. Let's do the next one. 
Now, I'm going to turn the oven, uh, the oven on, the iron on. I've got my, this iron set, and Michelle, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I did actually iron the paper first. I know you don't have to, but... Let me move you guys. Oops. Okay. So there's that one. And there's the textured one. So she's drying nicely. It's not lifting. A couple little spots if I push down. I think, I mean, you wouldn't normally do one after the other. You'd be looking after one. Um, but, yeah, so there's two down. Um, iron's on for, for the other two. I'm going to take you over here. I'll grab the stand. And we'll just do a bit of rust while that's heating up, just quickly. Because I think with the temperature of this room, you might be able to see it pretty quickly. I'll flip you around so I can see comments. Okay. Okay. All right. Much quicker than painting. Right. This is what I'm going to shoot at the rust finish to. Um, because of this design, I just, I saw this and went, it's got to have rust. It's got to have rust. I was on me and arguing about the colours and I went, oh no, rust would be good. So I've already applied rust to the edge of that top. I've applied rust to this, the top of that. Can you kind of see a texture on that? It's real iron that I'll activate and I'll create real rust. So we'll need to seal it. And then I've just taped out that. So the little table's a little bit different. Um, I've already got some in the container. But basically, there it is. It's kind of almost, looks a bit jelly-like. But it's iron filing, mm -hmm. iron filings that you actually, that's real metal that you're applying. So we'll just, I'll just paint this on. And depending on how thick you have it, you can do one or two coats. Um, depends on how much texture you'll get from it. But I'll paint this on to show you how quickly and easy it is to paint on. And I was chatting to my bestie um, my designer friend out last night and she came up with a brilliant idea she said why don't you do rusted coasters and I went oh yeah so I'm gonna do rusted coasters and I might put a set of coasters with it which would be nice I don't know if I even introduced myself when it went live. Some of you guys are on my page, but some aren't. So, so just in case, my name's Kayleen. I'm a Melbourne artist. Yeah, um, and I have got a studio. This is my studio and showroom in Wander North. Uh, the beautiful Yarra Valley is where I'm based. Um, All right, so that's it. I'm just dabbing it on. That's it. I'm trying to decide whether to do legs or not. Opinions welcome. So I've just dabbed it on. We'll let that dry. Put it out of the way. Put the lid on the sealer. And my brush in a plastic bag. There we go. All right, now. So this has been done in that, what I just showed you, and now it's dry. 
Then I get the activator. So it's, whoops, it's two parts. So that's the first part. That's the activator. I'll just rinse my brush out. And let's see how quick this works. Hopefully it'll work quickly because it's fairly warm in here. But you should see something by the time we finish decoupaging. Um, look, honestly, it's as simple as just painting it on. Now, I am very, very sensitive to smells and stuff. Um, so if I start, start coughing, that will be why. But honestly, it just smells like fish and chips. And you don't have to cover the whole, I am covering the whole thing here, but you don't have to cover the whole thing. You could leave some black, let some activate, um, some not. <coughs> um. And that should start working. It's starting to turn brown. You won't be able to see that on the camera. It's starting to turn brown now. I'll leave it there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but this is what you get. That's been done on a cardboard box. See that beautiful rust? And then if you don't activate all of it, you can do drippy things like that. We could do raised stencils and put the rust on it. That's real rust. It's beautiful. So on this piece, this beautiful, like this is going to be a car, like the old car. I just thought, oh my goodness, it'd be so good to, to marry that with some rust. Here's a close-up. Cardboard box, guys. See, like a corrugated... Where can you see the corrugated? Can you see? Look, looks like real metal because it is real metal. Okay, so that's out of the way. Let's do the bit that I've been procrastinating over, the iron on method. <laughs> we'll put the table down. We'll go for the little one. And you all have to Say your prayers, if you prayers, wish me luck, or hold your breath, whatever works. <laughs> Cross your fingers, toes, and we'll see what happens. The iron's hot, so, so I'll swap it over, and here we go. <clears throat> I want to take advantage of much of that, um, much of that as I can. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to
a bit of paper. I don't think I need to do this. I'm just a little bit conscious of the fact that this is this piece is a laminated piece. So because of the laminated top, I didn't know how hot I could go on it. But <clears throat> so I've got a bit, a bit of baking paper that I'll put there first, just in case. Did I just change the? No. Was worried all that panic for nothing that's going on fine it's an amazing how some things intimidate us and we can put it off and actually not even do it because we're scared we'll muck it up and yet then we discover if we actually get our brave pants on it wasn't that bad after all in fact, that was probably the easiest way. It certainly, it certainly worked with the gloss sealer, that's for sure. Oh, hang on, I haven't done the top. Did not speak too soon. Wait a minute. Oh, the settings. The settings of my iron, I've got it on dry, so it's not throwing out any steam. I didn't want to wrinkle the paper. And I've got it on cotton. So it's not on maximum um, and the reason why I've gone cotton because I already I, I played with them before and I ironed a piece on on a lower setting and I've realized I could take it up hotter so I haven't gone all the way but I'm see if we can go straight on it oh it's Guys, there is not a wrinkle in it. It's, it's perfectly smooth. It's seriously perfectly smooth. There's nothing. It's stuck down. Just making extra sure. Edges are stuck down because we don't want them lifting. But that is, let's see if I can, I can show you. That is perfectly smooth. It's hard to see because it's a textured image, but there's not a wrinkle. You see that? I did it! Everyone clap. Everyone go, yay, Kayleen, you brave girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, there is seriously nothing, not a bubble, nothing. That is, looks like it's been printed on that table. Yay, me! Thank you, Michelle. I was, <laughs> this is why it's taken so long because I thought, oh. How smooth can I get it? What if I do it on the table and it bubbles and it wrinkles and I don't like the wrinkles? <clears throat> but no, success. Oh, let's do another one, hey? Last one. And then I'll see if that rust has done anything for you. All right, now I've got my grey pants on. I'm going to do a big one. Big one. Let's go. Hang on. Gosh, I'm almost scared to say that in case. I... It's always the, when you get too confident, isn't it? <laughs> you know it. You know it, guys, don't you? It's like that time you go, oh, yeah, I got this. I still got this. She's got this, she's got this, Kaylin's got this, and then bam. <laughs> All right. 
Gosh, it's a shame to. I've got to. I've got to sacrifice some of this because it's too big for the table, and I don't want to. Um, but we need. I think I need the roof. I mean, I could go the other way, but no. It needs to be this way, I think. Alright. You're up high enough. Can you see it all? I think it was a good idea because because that's fresh that sealer is fresh it was probably a good idea to use the brayer first maybe i mean i did iron the paper too being scared at all so the paper is ironed Am I on camera? Kind of. Anyone dizzy yet? I'm dizzy with excitement. I'm just thinking, oh, what else can I do? I think it's going to be a new addiction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the water-based sealer on these ones because they are flat and smooth and I don't want to risk that yet. Um, so the swan that we did earlier that was lovely and textured, it's not going to matter if I had some issues with that one. Um, you know, if it reactivates because I can, I can go back and it's not going to matter really not going to make any difference so I'll test it on that um, not now I'm going to leave it dry for a day and test it and see if I've found a way around that Gee, I wish all my paintings come together quick. That would be, that'd be awesome. Okay, so let's table had a little bit of a bump that I knew of. I just, I just got to watch the edges. I want to make sure the edges are definitely, I don't get caught out there. Let's go back to the harassed. Oh, so, 
my goodness, all that in one session. That's pretty cool. Yep. There's the big one. There's, I'll paint that out. Test the seal on that one. Paint that one out. Now the rust, there's nothing, not a lot to see at the minute. You can only see a little bit. Can you see a little bit forming? So it might be me that's warm, not the room, but but it will keep going. As as this um, starts to dry off though, I've got to watch and just spray it with a bit of water. And that will turn into that. And on the on the pattern one. So I'll update those. Um, just flip that around. So I'll update you on that. How was that? Did I do good? Um, Christina's asking what was put under the paper for you ironed. I used, um, I was testing and it worked really, really well. Um, Artisan gloss sealer. Because I'm hoping that if I use that it might not reactivate when I go to seal on top. So that's what I'm hoping. But I'm gonna test it on the swan. Um, is that what you're talking about or was you talking about the texture? Because I had textured. Uh, if you go back to the start of the video, I show you the textures on the different things because there was two lots of textures. I used texture medium and um, artisan quick prep. Uh, on those to create two different textures so and I'll just show you the tool I mainly use is one of these um, they're just from is it the Sally's filler I've just had this for years you know one of those plastic things but you can use a credit card or you know just something thin and plastic and sh thin it's got to be thin uh, well I like it to be thin so that I can manipulate it. Yay, Kane. Thank you, Karen. Yay, me. I just think I was worried about that. Oh, all day I've been going, I'll make sure I've got this. I'll make sure I've got that. I'll make sure it's ready. And then hopefully I can go through it. So there you go, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I can't wait to see the new um, papers. I haven't got the new papers yet, but I'm ordering today, Michelle. So um, I wanted to try, try everything out and then go nuts. <laughs> so I've got a lot, of, lot in the shop already, um, but yeah, I wanted to try it and now I'm pretty confident I'm going to go nuts. <laughs> so I've got a few other pieces that are, that are definitely going to get a treatment with these. I, there's so many nice designs and some of my favourite artists are, are in those designs too. Really beautiful. So... Special thanks to Michelle for bringing out a paper that's so um, versatile and um, easy to use for us. And um, first of its kind, the original. And um, so it's a leading paper and others may follow, but it is pretty cool. I think this one rocks. Uh, I'm pretty fussy with my, my materials. So... Okay, guys, I'm just rambling now because I'm pretty excited and very happy that I knocked out all of that <laughs> just now. So I'll finish them off. Um, I might do another live. Actually, I should do another live painting them out. And um, that would be a good idea too, probably. So I will say thank you. And I'm going to go now and um, have a coffee, I think glass of water. Okay, bye for now.